Hey everyone, so welcome back. So I just wanted to share something with you I thought was kind of cool. Um, I'm not a big FT8 person, but I thought it was just a cool thing to have as an extra way of communication and making QSOs uh, for Sona and Poda, um, along with my CW um, activities. And that's doing some FT8 on my QMX uh, high band 20 to 10 meter uh, transceiver, along with an app called IFTX. So um, I knew about I, IFTX a while ago, but I didn't really think about it. I just kind of put it out of mind because I really wasn't an FT8 um, in the in the digital mode. But I saw um, Vince's channel the other other night. He had an episode um, FT8 with no sound card on an iPhone. Yup, and he showed how to set that this app up, the IFTX app with his KX3 uh, transceiver using the Vox feature and the microphone along with the amp. But what's really cool about this QMX transceiver is it's built into this and all you need is, let me grab it here, is a, a lightning to a camera adapter, a USB camera adapter. So that's a lightning to USB camera adapter. And then you see another USB to USB-C, which uh, plugs into um, your uh, transceiver, the QMX. So basically you'd have uh, your USB going to here. This is gonna go into your iPhone. And then you're going to plug this USB-C right into the, the QX Mini like this. So it'd be all set up like this. Um, and then I can open up the app on here and just kind of show it. it's not running right now, but I'm going to, we're going to come back. We're going to get everything set up. Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Um, what these, you know, what Hans and his crew have done with the QRP labs over there, what they've done is just, it's pretty crazy. Like you can run FT8 off your iPhone now, which to me is just so much easier, um, than trying to set up the software on, uh, my, you know, my MacBook and run it that way. But yeah, I, I'm not a big FT8 person, but I think for anybody that really likes FT8, um, you know, this is a cool app, and I think it's it works well with the QMX uh, a transfer. So yeah, let's uh, get to this and uh, um, show you how this works. So let's turn this on. And then you just want to make sure in the menu system that you scroll to Digi Interface. Click to any for and did you click it again? You just want to make sure the Vox is on, then you just exit out of here, and then obviously there. So, um, in the main screen, let's go to the setups here. So, um, you just want to make sure that you know. I just took this from what uh, Vince had in his settings. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Forward. Uh, you just put your call sign, the locator. Um, you have watts here, so I'll put in. 5 watts. Okay. Um, then we're at band. We're in 20 meters. We're not doing a contest. Special interest activities. Um, and then I'm going to hit save here. Go back in here. Oh, it didn't take the... It didn't take that console. Let's go here. So five watts, and then enter. It's a little glitchy here. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna check this again. I don't know, for some reason it's doing 10 watts. I'm not sure why you can't put five watts, but anyways, um, so call sign, wattage, the mono select, select the band. When you change bands, you're gonna have to come back into settings and change your band that you're doing uh, your digital um, uh, receive and transmit on. And then I'm, I'm just adding the use the Roger Roger 73 as part of the exchange, hit save. Um, then you have your waterfall um, here where you can change, you know, the, the signal intensity. 
Um, and I'm, I'm going to take this. You can see these two red lines here. I'm just going to move them to where another or a no, another signal isn't being transmitted, so I'm not on top of somebody. Okay, so somebody's calling CQ. Let's see if we can get um, Kilo 7 Sierra Echo Mike here. So you can see that the QMX is uh, receiving, and it did a quick uh, transmit with, uh, you know, Kilo 7 Sierra Echo Mike, Kilo Delta 7 Delta Uniform from Golf, and then DM-13 is my location. Let's see how this goes. I'm not an F... I don't really do FT8 that much. I mean, I haven't done it in probably two years. Um, I just think it's really cool that you can do it on your iPhone and you can do it on this QMX uh, transceiver. I mean, that's just really cool. Um, so I might do this on a Soda Summit just to see how it is, um, just to experiment. So it looks like it's... Um, just calling. I'm trying to call him, but he might not be hearing me. Let's see how long this goes. transmitting right now okay I don't think I'm gonna get through here so let's see what loads up again here actually what we can do is since I'm on an open frequency let's just um, let's try to get whiskey 3 foxtrot alpha whiskey I tried to work him earlier when I was testing this and I we got through part of the exchanges and then I lost it just timed out. No, oh, very cool. I, I think it's very cool that you can do this on a friggin' iPhone and then you know, the QRP Labs um, crew over there making a really, I don't know, this is a really cool radio. I'm actually glad that I got this radio and built the kit. All right, let's try this. Let's see if I can call CQ. Okay, so let's listen. And then I'm going to just call CQ here. And you can see it'll come in the next cycle. And just make sure when you're calling CQ that you can, you know, within this spectrum, you can uh, find a spot that you're not transmitting on top of somebody. Yeah, so this is as easy as it gets in terms of uh, FT8. I don't know how great the, the, the bands today haven't been that great on uh, continuous wave CW. Um, I'm hitting beacons, but I've been listening to Poda and Soda Stations all day, and I literally have had one contact the entire day. I can't hear anybody, and if it, I can, it's just extremely... I can't copy, so there's no point in sending my call sign. Um, we had a... I think I saw a G5 uh, uh, geomagnetic storm, so um, that was earlier today. I don't know where the, the level is uh, today at this time like right now so it's 2334 UTC but let's just see if I can get a, a contact here oh there we go there's a Japan station that's cool nice so I just pick him okay now we're in the exchange
Let's see how this goes. Come on. This would be really cool to have this uh, for you guys to see this. Well, I definitely, uh, Juliet Alpha 7 Hotel Romeo Mike, you heard me. Let's just see how we can do on this. God, that is so cool to have your iPhone run FT8. <laughs> this is so cool. I don't know, I may I might have lost him. See here we go here. If not, I'm gonna I'll call CQ again. Yeah, I think I've I've lost him. I don't think I'm gonna get this exchange. They usually go a lot faster than this. Got yeah, timed out. Okay. So let's call CQ again. Calling CQ here, which is cool. All right. So yeah, so the QMX transceiver. Um, I I have nothing but good things to say about it. Um, it's a it's a pretty cool radio in terms of its capabilities. I mean, I'm, I'm very interested in what QRP Labs is going to do for more firmware updates. Um, I, I, I mostly operate um, CW. I might try some, um, some FT8 once or twice just to see how it is. Oh, here we go. So I have uh, Kilo Kilo 5 Juliet Yankee. Nice. So we're going, I'm going to transmit and we're going through the exchange, keep going through the exchange. Um, I think it'd be cool to have single sideband on this QMX just to give an opportunity that people that don't do CW to make um, contacts with as well. Um, I usually don't carry a mic, but I would do it for this radio. Oh, there, okay, so we're on our Roger Roger 73 step there. Part of the exchange, it's logged, and then we'll do another exchange. The final exchange, and then I'll show you where these are logged. Cool, so that's logged, so it's finished and logged. Um, then you can click in here. So I've had these contacts today. The two are just, just testing to see if this worked. And then you can export this out to uh, uh, load it up into your, uh, you know, your logging software or whatever that might be. So, yeah, that's really, really cool. I think this is a 
cool extra added feature that you can use on your QMX. So, yeah, so um, I'll just go back to listening here and um, just kind of scroll through here. And you have a you have a help menu in here that you can go through for the settings, um, the main view. It's it's such a simple app. It's I don't know. It's really cool. Um, and you can go between FT8 and FT4, um, but I'm just on going to be doing FT8. So, yeah, all right, everybody. So, yeah, I, I appreciate y'all watching. I just thought this was a really, really cool addition to have your iPhone to be able to do FT8 um, and make those contacts. So, all right, yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching and uh, 73. Until next time.